presented without commentary for your viewing pleasure. All right, hey guys, this is our Friday update. Uh, not much. There's not really much to update. Nothing really happened this week. So the contractors, a lot of them didn't show up, which, you know, is just kind of is what it is. But uh, nothing really got worked on. We did finish this wall, which I think we showed you guys before. We got that all dialed in. Uh, looks really good. The contractors who put in this, this insulation here, uh, we told you guys a little bit about that. They got this, this spray foam. You can see this overspray right here. They got that all over our logs um, uh, the first time when they did it. And so we complained and then they had to come out and clean it off and it was kind of a nightmare. And then they had to come back and fix uh, a few of the spots that weren't done. And so, you know, they got uh, told to be especially by careful me. By me. with the, well not just by holly but by their boss and their boss's boss to be very delicate with these logs that they're very old and irreplaceable and don't put any overspray and guess what <laughs> they freaking oversprayed them again so dude i was hot i called them i was not happy um and so they came out today and they had to fix it and so uh that's kind of the, the issue that we've had, but that's really all that's gotten done. There really hasn't been too much else that's been happening. We're doing a lot of grounds work. So um, a friend of ours has been doing some work for us, coming over and doing a lot of the groundskeeping and getting stuff like that cleaned up. But there's really not a lot. No, we up. made, oh, I'm really dark. We made a big um, area for the dogs. So oh, the yeah, we could go. Out there being yeah, 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 let's go do that. Yeah, so we went and cleared this area back here for she the dogs. She'll be back there. Is she? I think so. Aliyah, are you back here? You're on. <laughs> hey! There's Aliyah. Look at all this work she did. So she cleared this area back here for the dogs. These crazy psychos right here. Um, you can see she cleared out all of this brush and stuff like that and then we put up all these fence pieces here so the dogs have this really cool uh, place to hang out it's all shaded you can see forested area here they got tons of room to run around and act like crazy little dogs that they are so Kristen came over today uh, okay and we decided what plants we're gonna put and she showed me that we have blackberries that are done and ready to eat and we have thimble raspberries our blackberry bushes honestly are like 10 feet high it's no joke I mean, there's, there's so, so many of them yeah and Ooh, we've that got sun is thimble bright. raspberries and we have oregon grapes and we have huckleberries so she showed me which plants to keep and and uh, gave me a bunch of ideas for landscaping so we did that I guess that's an update. You moved the logs. Oh yeah, I moved all the logs. You I don't know if you guys can see this. Yeah. I I almost hit my bobcat all the time. That's Dude, no. not, it's nothing it, normal. This was, this was a little intense. No, no, no. It it's was, the same as every other time yeah. I almost tipped it. Look at this thing. Yeah. What is that? 250 gallon? Uh, 150. 150 gallon propane tank. Yes, just got it delivered. So let me show you. I'll flip this over. Okay, so this is the pile of like just garbage and all this stuff that we cut up so this area right here um, we had a friend of ours come and, and clean this whole area out which is pretty cool you can see it was just all overgrown with brush and everything I just walk you guys through here <laughs> so it's a pretty cool little area here he cleared all this out I hope you guys can really get oh there we go see a little bit more of this so I'm gonna put in blueberries here. and strawberries so yeah he cut all this stuff back for us so it looks really cool now it's not all overgrown and then these are all the logs that were piled up over on the other side of the house ah, it looks gorgeous right there so this is the land that we're clearing that we will hopefully uh, be building our log cabin here at some point uh, in the near future here um, so there's a bunch of firewood cutting that we'll we'll cut up and uh, give away to some of our friends and 
keep some for ourselves but but yeah this is the property as it's been transitioning it used to just be this wild crazy jungle and now it's it's a little bit uh more tame here it's the new shed last week or this week oh ah uh, yeah the other shed it's right there um i don't know if we showed you guys did all the gravel work so just a lot of dirt work that's been going on you know all that that huge pile right there i cleared up all this area and uh yeah that's uh that's what we just a lot of groundskeeping here um and uh yeah hopefully we'll get some more work done in the house here coming up and we're about to go have dinner with some friends because it's been kind of a long week even though we haven't done a whole lot in the house there's been a lot of other stuff going on we've got uh, a training down in oregon that we're doing so i'm going to be going down there and we're going to be teaching the healing through service to about 30 different people that are part of different VSOs, veteran service organizations, teaching them the process healing through service. So we've got our book and curriculum and video series. And so we're going to be training a train the trainer. So that way they can take the stuff that we teach the veterans yeah. down in uh, Mexico and they can teach it in Oregon. So that's really cool. We're partnering with uh, Operation Restore Hope, or I'm sorry, Operation Rebuild, Rebuild Hope, Hope and Pat Wright uh, down in Oregon. And then when we get back, we're doing Boating for Heroes the next uh -huh. weekend. And then after that, in September, we start our cross-country cool. journey. Austin's graduation. Is oh, the yeah. Weekend, I got to so fly down to Mexico. The 26th. The 26th. And he graduates from DTS. Yeah. And then we come back and my brother-in-law's flying in. We'll fish for a couple days. And then we are hitting the road for a whole month. Book tour. Doing a book tour, book signings. Um... And Sue so, comes back. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Sue will be back. And he'll be Sue joining be us back. on the road. So you guys will get to see him. Yes. And if you check his Instagram, <laughs> the boy named Sue, there's updates uh, on there for him. So you can check that out. The boy named Sue. I don't know where he finds the time. Yeah. yeah. So he's been doing training. You'll get some updates there for him. But you'll be able to follow us uh, across the country and see all these different places that we go and people that we meet. And so if you are watching us and you are on our path, we'll post that as well. We'd love to see you guys. Yes. Um, we'd love to meet you, sign a book for you, get some photos, and uh, yeah, man, just help you start the conversation for mental health. All right, so that's our Friday update. There is a couple other videos in here that we're going to show you. We'll show you Holly's <laughs> amazing driving skills oh uh, from earlier today. Me, I you tell you what, let me drive. Mario Andretti if right you here. Let me drive. Mario Andretti. This is Without telling right me. I'm the A driver, assistant driver. That's me. You'll see. Here it is. Assistant to the regional manager. Is that you? <laughs> I'm going to help Holly uh, drive. She's somewhat direct, notice, directionally challenged. Please notice that I am the one driving. Yeah, well. Are you? I feel. So she, she asks me, which exit do I take? That is not what happened. She's been yelling at me the whole time about helping her drive. And so she asks me, what? What exit do I take? After she tells me, no, no, she tells me, don't say anything else about driving or I'm pulling this car over and you're going to drive. And I was like, oh, okay. Because he knows, being that quiet. he knows that I'm not bluffing. And then, and then she says, two seconds later, she says, so what exit do I take? No! And I'm like, have you ever seen the movie Full Metal Jacket and where the drill instructor is beating the recruits and he asks them a question and the recruit says, I'm sorry, sir. I don't know what answer to give. I feel like any answer I give would be wrong and the drill instructor will beat me further. That's my life right now, okay, man. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I'm explaining. You've talked. I'm going to talk. We were driving Don't miss Auburn. your exit. <laughs> we were driving through Auburn and I said, shoot, I need to be in the other lane to get on the 18 to get on 167 so that I can drive Miss Daisy to her haircut. And he's like, no, 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 you can go to the next one. I was like, oh, yeah, that bypasses 18. Bypasses well, 18. Stop. Keyword, I'm bypass talking. 18. We get to the next exit. And as the line is turning solid, Aaron's like, no, 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 C Street. And I'm like, wait, West 18 takes me to 167. I cut across traffic to take his C Street exit, which is not getting me on the freeway. It's keeping me on C Street to go to 15 and then get on the 18. And so Aaron's like, no, no, you said you wanted to bypass the 18. That's the only way to bypass it. To bypass it. Anyways, then we get on the freeway. To go right. And I'm driving. And 
because I know that if I take the wrong exit to go take him to his haircut. Hi, Billy. <laughs> that I will hear all about it because he's telling me, well, you know, you can take the carpool lane. I'm the A driver, it's assistant okay driver. If you to get in the other lane. Thank you so much for your help with me driving. Anybody else have a wife that's directionally challenged? Put it in the comments.